I just saw a TikTok of this girl who was going to get a trial run of her wedding makeup and her fiance is sitting next to her in the car as she's about to get out. He goes, not too much makeup, right? You all, I have this very interesting video to share with you all. Let us go ahead and word the clip to the end and I'll be back at the end of the video. Hey beautiful people, how are you all doing today? It's your girl Mary Davis and I'm back again with another interesting video. What is your take on a partner, a man telling his girlfriend or fiance or wife saying, I don't like too much makeup. I don't like when you do too much. I don't like braids. I like, oh, I don't like wig. I like you on braids. I don't like revealing clothes. I like, you know, when you're on big clothes like this. <laughs> I don't like makeup, go natural. What do you think about partners that talk about and trying to be like, okay, this is what I like and this is what I want you to do for me and you must do it. What is your take on things like that? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. I have few stitches to share with you all regarding this video. Let's go ahead and watch the stitches together and I'll be back at the end of all the stitches. I just saw a TikTok of this girl who was going to get a trial run of her wedding makeup and her fiance is sitting next to her in the car as she's about to get out. He goes, not too much makeup, right? She's like, no, no. And she's explaining like why she's excited about it. And then he goes again, not too much makeup, right? And she comes back, she gets back in the car. She looks great. He does not say that. He's just like, oh yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too much. It's like, he, he keeps saying like, it's not too much. Oh my God. Like, do you ever just want to wring somebody's neck who you've never met before? I had only spent under a minute watching that TikTok, and I already knew immediately that if I ever met that man out in public, you would have to hold me back from wringing his neck. As soon as a man starts trying to control the like how much makeup you put on your face or what you put on your body, as soon as he starts to control that, you need to be like, oh, he has a problem. This is a person with deep-seated issues this is going to get worse i need to turn around rethink my life if i were sitting in that car i would whip my head around and say tell me how much makeup i can put on my face one more time he starts to control that you need to be like oh he has a problem this is this is actually a really good red flag to look out for now i don't remember how many years deep like eight years deep had i believe my first child now let me tell you, I'm going, uh, 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 because I'm having to push the cobwebs back in my brain, in my memory, just to recall this right now. But anyways, I remember I looked freaking hot still in clothes. I don't know why I said still. <laughs> I mean, I still look hot. <laughs> but you know, after you have your first child, things on your body change. It's not the same anymore. So let's just be transparent. I have stretch marks. And I remember my ex-husband. Now, when you have a C-section, let me just share this as well. Maybe this is not the case for every woman that has a C-section, but this was the case with me. You may have a little pouch, pooch, whatever you want to call it. And it may not be like big, but you may see that, but others may not see that in your clothes. It may not really show up, not even in dresses or anything tight, but my ex-husband knew it was there. And I don't understand why, but I can recall him being self-conscious for me. And I told him, what does it matter? I'm wearing clothes. I don't know. I just, it's one of those things you remember. And now I don't care what anybody thinks. My future husband is going to love me for me. Stretch marks and all. Now, I have heard that you can get them lasered, so if he wants to pay for that, <laughs> I guess that would be an option. I could throw a couple extra things in there, too. Anywho, let me stop while I'm ahead. He's explaining, like, why she's excited about it. And then he goes, again, not too much makeup, right? I've been a hairstylist for 15 years, and I want to say that... Uh, if you have a partner, whether it's a boyfriend or a husband or whatever, who when you get home after doing something for yourself, like getting eyelash extensions or getting highlights or cutting off your hair or um, going dark with your hair after you've been a blonde your whole life and you go home and they just tear you down, they give you the silent treatment, they say things like, I can't even look at you 
or they get your children to gang up on you about your change and they bully you into going back or they bully you into feeling bad about yourself or they manipulate you into thinking that um, you don't make good decisions about your appearance, you need to run. I can say without a shadow of a doubt that every single time a woman goes through a transformation in my chair and then goes home and comes back two days later telling me that her husband hates the way she looks and she needs to go back to what she had before. Um, That is usually just the tip of the iceberg. Usually she has also told me or will tell me eventually about uh, worse abuse that's going down within her marriage, uh, whether it is, you know, just controlling other aspects of her life or, um, bullying her about her weight or bullying her about her parenting skills or, um, you know, bullying her about the hours she works or how she keeps the house and things like that. Uh, men who want to micromanage their partner's appearance like that, run. Just run. It's never good. Don't marry them. Don't have children with them. Don't stay with them. It is not normal for your partner to micromanage how you wear your makeup, uh, whether or not you get your eyelashes done, if you get highlights, if you cut your hair, if you wear long hair, short hair, whatever. That's not normal. It's one thing to ask for somebody's opinion and for them to be honest with you and say like, it's not my favorite or as long as you like it, you know, whatever. Um, It is a whole other thing for your partner to stop speaking to you, to withhold affection, to bully you into spending money to get yourself untransformed. It's just a super, uh, It's a super common, super subtle form of abuse that I think a lot of people don't really even acknowledge as being abusive. But I can tell you right now, like with 110% confidence that 10 times out of 10, every single time a woman tells me that her partner treats her like this, there are way, way worse things that are going down in that marriage. You have to really ask yourself why your self-expression threatens him so much. If you see a kind put your thoughts, your comments, your suggestion, your opinion down in the comment section, all opinion are subjects in this channel, if you put them down respectfully. So what do you think about men that try to control their partner on how to look? You know? As the last year said, the difference between you asking for opinion and there's another difference between them telling you this is how I want you to be. What is your take? For me, I feel like I feel like it's a red flag. If you're in a relationship or you just started being in a relationship with someone and the person's already telling you, I don't like girls that wear too much makeup and apparently your makeup and I don't like I don't really like girls that wear so much makeup i don't really like girls that you know wear so revealing clothes clothing i don't really like girls that do this i don't really like girl it's a red flag and yes it's a part of an abuse because you would not know what it's going to do to you until you're already deep into the relationship because it's going to change the kind of person you are to suit the kind of person they want you to be maybe you like wearing you know revealing clothes you know i'm less you know bum shorts you know you just like dressing little sexy and all of that but they are telling you that they don't want it so just to you know make your partner happy just the way society tells us to do ladies try to make your partner happy you are the key and the only thing that makes the relationship works so whatever you do determine how the relationship will be you know all the crap and you eventually you know try to listen to society you start changing your mindset start changing because this is not how you want to dress but you have to switch to dress that way because you want to please your partner subconsciously you start liking clothing like that even though that that is not what you like sometimes some people change a lot of lifestyle just to suit their partner and they be like i'm doing it just because i want the relationship to work and all of that to me i feel like 
if your partner wants to be with you for you he saw you for who you really are so and that is why he woke up to you or probably dating size it clicked that okay this is the kind of girl i want to be with blah 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 and you're not trying to change some certain things just for you to still stay in the relationship i feel like that relationship is not worth it because you're already switching the kind of person you are aside from you working on your own trauma trying to heal and all of that that's aside but physical appearance and all of that this kind of people will shame you just as one of the things said about after you put to bed you might have stretch mark you might have falling boobs you, you might have a lot of things that you cannot you don't have control over and it kind of man that look at you and try to be like i don't like i don't i don't like and don't allow you to be yourself they might start body shaming you and be like i don't like ladies that have stretch mark something that you couldn't have control over because of course when you're pregnant your body expands and yeah and when your body expands you tend to have stretch marks and all of that and they try to make you feel bad for having something you are not about to control and you might start feeling insecure about your body and they start making you feel like okay because you don't you have stretch man that's why the relationship is like this you know they start gaslighting you or something that you didn't have control over so when you see these traits at the beginning of the relationship and a man trying to tell you i don't like too much makeup I don't like to like it was not able to like oh wow you look beautiful makeup is nice oh yeah but it's already like hope is not too much makeup like oh hope is not too much makeup hope you're not gonna do too much makeup like i because because i don't like even though she wants to do too much makeup probably prevention she was going to the makeup studio to do makeup and she wants that heavy because as a bride when they want to do makeup for you it's extreme on your face although it will look calm but they put so much product I think so so even though she wants that much you know an announced kind of makeup she's going to be like okay I don't want too much because she doesn't want to offend her husband to be and be like I don't want too much makeup just because he said he doesn't want like it gets to women's head when a man start doing okay this is what I want this is what I don't like about women if that I feel like if that's what you want just be yourself in a relationship no matter how much you try to switch to suit this man they will still be the kind of person they want to be they will still do whatever they want to do no matter how much you spill like, oh my husband likes when i did this my husband likes boo boo some people say their husband likes them to wear a bias blah 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 if you're not the kind of person that likes to wear something like that then don't <laughs> because if you try to switch and turn everything just to suit and make him happy at the end of the day and you're not doing it because of you and making yourself happy if you start doing things and probably he start cheating on you on a girl that wears something sexy and you start getting angry i'll be like oh i was doing this because blah blah like it's a red flag for for me though i feel like it's a red flag if someone tries to start controlling your appearance start telling you okay this is how i like it and obviously they want you to be like that even though that is not what you want so you start switching your lifestyle just to suit them i feel like uh, just be careful <laughs> anyways that is just my own opinion okay feel free to disagree with me and agree with me down in the comment section because in this channel all opinion are accepted as i said earlier and kindly put them down respectfully i thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share and subscribe and kindly turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified when i upload another interesting video like this one and i'll see you all in my next video